With SpaceX preparing to launch its Starship on top of its massive super heavy rocket for the first time next month, scientists are getting excited about how much a cavernous spaceship will make the impossible possible. Here are the details. With SpaceX ready to test launch its Starship next month, the MIT Technology Review interviewed leading space scientists and found that the spaceship will dramatically change the things humans can achieve in space. Starship has a whopping 1,000 cubic meters of usable internal space, making it big enough to fit the entire Eiffel Tower disassembled. It can also push more than 100 metric tons of payload into space. This means that humans can soon carry full-sized equipment from Earth without the need to miniaturize it. For example, you could take a full-sized drilling rig to another planet and drill down a kilometer. That would give previously unimaginable access to the interior of the Moon and Mars, where ice and other resources are thought to be present. Humans would also be able to take a lot of scientific instrumentation on flights compared to sending small vehicles with limited instrumentation. The best part is that SpaceX says all these volume advantages can be achieved at the incredibly low price of $2 million per launch, because the booster and spaceship are designed to return to Earth for reuse. Among the many other advantages of such a big space vehicle is the delivery of bigger telescopes into space. Currently, these have to be folded into small cargo bays, after which they have to unfold autonomously in space, which adds a lot of cost, complexity, and risk of failure. SpaceX has filed plans to launch its huge super-heavy booster together with its Starship spaceship as part of the first orbital test of the Starship. This marks an exciting new development in SpaceX's efforts to deliver the first astronauts to the surface of the moon since 1972. This moon mission is part of a contract with NASA, and here are the details. The Verge reports that SpaceX has filed an application with the FCC outlining its plans for the first orbital test flight of its Starship spaceship within a year. Going orbital is a key stepping stone towards sending the first humans to the moon since the Apollo missions. To get that high, Starship's super heavy booster, a gigantic 70-meter rocket stage, will help it take off from SpaceX's facilities in South Texas. The orbital flight test would mark the first time SpaceX stacks both elements of its massive Starship system together. The booster stage will separate approximately 170 seconds into flight and will then perform a partial return and land in the Gulf of Mexico, approximately 32 kilometers from the shore. Meanwhile, Starship will fly over the Florida Strait and continue into orbit, nearly completing a full trip around Earth before plunging back through the atmosphere over Hawaii, roughly 90 minutes after launching from Texas. SpaceX says the landing would be a powered, targeted landing about 100 kilometers off the northwest coast of Kauai and what it calls a soft ocean landing. The Elon Musk-led company says it's hoping to collect as much data as possible during flight to quantify entry dynamics and better understand what the vehicle experiences in a flight regime, which is extremely difficult to accurately predict or replicate computationally. Elon Musk says SpaceX will try a very different approach to landing its future reusable rocket boosters, according to tech website TechCrunch. On the 31st of December, Musk tweeted, We're going to try to catch the super heavy booster with the launch tower arm, using the grid fins to take the load. Current Falcon 9 boosters return to Earth and land propulsively on their own built-in legs. But Musk's new plan for the Super Heavy Booster is for the larger rocket not to have legs at all. SpaceX's Super Heavy Booster is still under development. This giant booster rocket would be the biggest rocket stage ever built, featuring up to 28 Raptor rocket engines. The booster's landing sequence would still involve the use of its engines to control the velocity of its descent, but the new plan would see the grid fins, which help control its orientation during flight, double as catch arms that would catch on a giant catching bracket. This means the giant rocket would hang from its grid fans without touching the ground at all. This method would save cost, weight, and turnaround time by emitting landing legs from the rocket. SpaceX's famous CEO, Elon Musk, plans to have established a functioning city on Mars by 2050. And here's how he plans to do it. Mars and Earth align every two years, making the time before these alignment periods the obvious launch windows for missions to Mars. Musk said in various news conferences that he plans to send two unmanned SpaceX Starships to Mars during the next launch window, which would be in 2022. These first two autonomous cargo-carrying spacecraft will carry up to 100 tons of power, mining, and life support equipment. If this mission is successful, the plan is to use the next launch window in 2024 to send two starships with human pioneers and another two cargo-carrying starships. Musk said this first human mission would not be relaxing at all, as all future missions would depend on the success of what these pioneers can accomplish. 
These first Mars pioneers would have to deploy all the hardware, establish temporary survival shelters, and set up a rocket fuel production factory. Establishing this rocket fuel factory would be difficult under the harsh conditions, but it would be crucial as it is the only guarantee for the astronauts to return home alive. The factory would use Mars's frozen water and the carbon dioxide molecules that dominate the planet's very thin atmosphere to create methane and liquid oxygen, aka rocket fuel. If this very vital first human mission is successful, the next step would be to build more permanent habitats, greenhouses, and life support systems. After that, the plan is to focus on growth and rapid expansion from a village to a town to a full Martian city and eventually to multiple Martian cities. 2026 should then see the launch of a large number of human-carrying starships. Soon after that, Musk envisions seeing thousands of starships with thousands of people launched to Mars during every launch window. Following up on his plans to transport 1 million people to Mars by 2050, Elon Musk's company SpaceX has now declared that it will also send hundreds of satellites to Mars to provide the colonists with space internet. SpaceX is currently building a Starlink mega constellation of small communication satellites around Earth and has already launched around 800 of these satellites into low Earth orbit. This mega constellation of satellites will eventually cover every part of Earth, and Elon Musk said it will give all people on Earth access to low-cost broadband internet. According to a recent interview with Time magazine, the company now plans to build the same mega constellation around Mars to provide the one million future citizens of Mars with space-based internet. Shotwell said the Starlink concept would also create a robust communication link between Mars and Earth, providing an interplanetary internet bridge. This ambitious satellite plan for Mars is typical of Elon Musk, who is spending big money on creating the rockets and spaceships required to get people to Mars. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.